What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it yet again. Taylor Swift has found out. Hey, I'm an artist. And this is the record business. Or the wrecker business. Her public spat with one of the most powerful men in the music business in the entertainment world of representing pop acts, Scooter Braun. I met Scooter. I can see what she's talking about with Scooter. You know, Scooter is a is a guy with a lot of influence and makes a lot of moves. I saw him when he was working with Justin. Um, don't know if he still he might still be working with Justin, but the same thing is. During her tenure with Scooter or relationship with Scooter, these problems existed. And Scooter sat down and bought her previous catalog music, and it just totally drove her insane when that happened because now all her old work belongs to someone she does not like. And she always knew that the person would sell the music, Scott, uh, what's his name, Scott Borchella, Borchetta, the head of the former music label known as Big Machine. Now, Big Machine, ladies and gentlemen, is actually <clears throat> sorry about that. It's this cold. Big Machine is actually a label that she was signed to when she first started, of course. And they were in control of her publishing rights, of her catalog, and for all her old, older work before she was able to rebrand herself. And she wanted the opportunity to be able to buy her old catalog. which she believes she's owed about $8 million in royalties that Big Machine has not paid her after purchasing her uh, entire catalog from her, from her past uh, music that she's, you know, created. So moving forward, all her new music she creates is all going to belong to her. That's the bonus thing. She, she don't have to worry about this situation anymore. But all of her hits and everything she created was all in the past. So what's the big hiccup now? Well, it was kind of leaked out in an interview or on social media that she was going to re-record copies of her songs and make new songs and re-record them which would make it you know uh, a whole new thing and then she could do that and reap the benefits from that that's going to anger people at big machine label and definitely scooter braun so hearing that would definitely put them in a bad situation now, the American Music Awards was talking about giving her a some type of honor at the awards. And she was supposed to perform at the awards. And for some reason, they told her that she could not perform or use any of her songs for the... Uh, award show which they completely just said they denied their representative said Taylor Swift can 100% perform all of her catalog past and present songs on American Music Awards 
Big Machine has no issue with her performing or going out there on a live broadcast because it recognizes it doesn't have the right to block her. Okay. So their representative said that she can 100% perform all of her songs in the catalog and their confusion with Taylor Swift's statement is that they have begun no legal right to stop this and has never tried. So Taylor Swift maintains that her requests regarding the American Music Awards and she has a Netflix project that was based on her life which did not mention Big Machine or Scott Scooter Braun or Scott Burchella at all all of a sudden this project was denied by Big Machine and Swift is oh like she says they were supposed to give her like eight million dollars in royalties but they claim that Taylor Swift owes them millions so he owns her first six albums in that acquisition deal back in June And they said, look, they wanted to work with Taylor Swift to make an olive branch to sit down with her and try to work things out and make peace. But Taylor Swift do not want to sit down with them and definitely don't want to sit down with Scooter Braun because Scooter Braun actually bought it and sold it. So she don't want to sit down and make peace with him. The time to sit down and make peace was before you bought it. That's how they look at it. Like, you should have did this before you went ahead and bought it. So, right now she went and rallied, got her fan support to rally behind her. And she's like, Scott, Burchell, and Scooter Braun have now said that I am not allowed to perform my old songs on television because they claim that would be re-recording my music before I am allowed to next year. Additionally, and this isn't the way I had planned on telling you this news, Netflix had created a documentary about my life for the past few years and Scott and Scooter have declined to use my old music or performance footage for the project even though there is no mention of either of them or Big Machine Records anywhere in the film. This is wrong. Neither of these men had a hand in writing these songs. They did nothing to create the relationship I have with my fans. So this is where I am asking for your help. Please let Scott and Scooter Brand know how you feel about this. So she's asking the fans to do what? Tweet? Go crazy? And of course, Selena Gomez, her BFF, comes up there. My heart is so heavy right now. It makes me sick, extremely angry. I don't mind if there be retaliation. This is my opinion. It's greed, manipulation, and power. There is no heart or, no, or any thought of anyone else's. No respect for the words my friend has written since she was 14 years old in her bedroom. You robbed and crushed one of our best songwriters of our time and an opportunity to celebrate all of her music with her fans across the world. <laughs> and of course, Halsey and Camilla comes in out in her defense. And Big big Machine came out and said, hey, Taylor Swift appealed to all of her supporters. This greatly affects the safety of our employees and their families. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A bunch of 16, 13-year-old girls are going to be stalking you down. Get on the Tay, the Tay Army. <laughs> What are they going to do, throw glitter on you? Oh, gosh. This greatly affects the safety of our employees and families. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to 
the business. This is the Rekka business. And Taylor Swift is trying to change the narrative because she cannot believe what's actually happening here in the Rekka business. Honey, this is what they do. Welcome to the game. This is the business. You wanted to play ball, you're playing ball. Now you got to get down and dirty with everybody else. This is how the game works. It ain't fair, but hey, somebody's got to play it. And this thing is just getting heated up. But you should know better, Tay. Know better. You got a manager, you got an agent, you got all the lawyers, you got all these people that should tell you this is the business. You can't perform your song with your fans. Okay, well, we'll do it next year. Tell the American Music Award you'll do it next year. And you can celebrate and do it all next year. And then when it's eligible for you to do the songs, they can set it at a re-record. If you're going to go out and perform it, bet. We'll do it next year. But you've been having your butt kissed for far too long. You think just because you scream and cry and I'll get my fans and the thing's just going to turn in your favor. You've been spoiled. You got to tough it up. Be the artist. Say, okay, this is the business. He got them six albums from me. Bet. All right. I'm going to make them worthless for you because I'm going to redo my thing and move forward. Move forward, Tay. Get on your J-O. You got to... <laughs> You got to pull them panties up and get to work. So on that note, I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and select all. I'm out.